welcome to another flight report. We are here at Hong Kong Airport and we are going to fly with Cathay Pacific in first class on their 777 to Seoul. But right now we are heading to the lounge. We are going to the pier. Thank you. I got the headset first. It's a Bose headset. Noise cancellation. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And this is the new champagne here. They changed in July from crook to. <laughs> I can't say. <laughs> this one. And my hot towel. Oh. It would be better a cold towel, but it's good here. Thank you. I just got my menu. I will show you what's inside on the side of my video. And by the way, it's a really big first class seat. It's 81 inches in the length and 36 inches width. Wow. So let's see what's on my seat. I got a small compartment here. Remote control. Here's my monitor. Here are the presets for my seat, for magazines and safety informations reading light 
and here is an armrest for my very big seat here. Here's just my table and a very big compartment here inside. And here's my headphone jack, power plug, USB, and another seat for my feet rest. And on my right is another reading light. A nice flower and three windows for me. And here's a small touch screen to control the lightning, the massage of the seat and the seat itself.
。各位乘客，我哋即将为你提供餐饮服务。为咗令你有一个更舒适嘅旅程，在此路上有健康飞行。Let's have a look on the table here. Wow, this is one part. And if you want, you can dine together here. There's another seat, but I think it's not really big enough to dine together. Uh, maybe for small dishes or so. So dish. Nice. Ah, oh, okay, thank you. Oh, this is beautiful. I got a small greeting from the crew. Dear Mr. Bamberger, it's a great pleasure to have you on board with us. Wish you, wish you have a pleasant flight. Thank you. And here's my starter. It's with Tello tomato with truffle mascarpone and white anchovies. It's quite good, but I know the real version of Vitello tomato from Italy. For the soup, I will go for the, um, the chardonnay, chardonnay. Yeah. for the, a lot of wines. Yeah. I was not asked to try the wine, so um, I got a full glass, so let's try it now. Yeah. Chardonnay, perfect oh, for my soup. Oh, with a big pepper mill. Is it, it's a fresh pepper? Oh. Ready! <laughs> and here is my potato soup. It's leek and potato soup with fresh pepper from the pepper mill. I don't want to be too critical because we are in the air and I know my taste is different from the ground. But right now I think it's a, it's a bit too sweet. Mm. It's good. There are some pieces, some small pieces of potato inside. Mm. And they are doubly noticeable and you will get it on every bite, so I need a bit of salt. Normally I don't salt any meal, but this is too sweet for me. Mm. It's better now. This is a plain rice. The plain rice. You've heard of I got an explanation how to eat this Korean style main course. First of all, I have carefully opening this pot of rice. I should take just the half portion of this rice on top of my plate here. I need my chopsticks. Wow, but I forgot a photo. What a pity. Then she told me to mix it up, but further I have to put some chili sauce on it. No, oh, it's not. <laughs> not really spicy so it's just a little spicy I put it all over then I have to mix it if I'm wrong in any way please let me know in the comment section I just do this what the flight attendant told me to do now I have to take some sesame oil over oh got it and at least some roasted seaweed. It's kind of salty, she told me. Let's try it. I 
it's quite interesting. The, the rice is hot and the vegetables are cold. Mm -hmm. What a difference! The red wine I have to try before. And I forgot to say the meat is cold as well. Just the rice is warm and if you mix it together it's a half-half so some is cold some is warm and uh, that's pretty much it. I got an explanation from the crew member she's Korean South Korean and she told me that there are different sorts of this dish in Korea South Korea you will find the hot version as well so the plate is hot and the rice is hot as well and then the ingredients are even hot so on board of the airplane they will serve the cold version it's pretty interesting for me and she told me not to eat it with chopsticks I should eat it with a spoon because I get every ingredient on my spoon and I'm not so skilled with chopsticks she told me hmm. here in cafe the cheese was presented on a big plate by the crew I unfortunately missed this scene and I can choose between three kind of cheese if I go for a cheese plate and I think that's a good option. So as I told you, I don't want to be too critical. The plate is cold, the cheese is on a good temperature, and I really like the presentation here. And I'm sorry, I'm not a real cheese specialist, so I cannot tell you much about the cheese. Let's go to the bottom line. This flight was just a uh, three hours and whatever, 20 minutes flight. And it's called a regional flight. That's why there is no caviar service, caviar service. There was no caviar service. And the food was very good for this three hours. The service as well. You saw I got champagne, I got white wine, I got everything I, I wished. And we only spent 73,000 areas for this flight. What do you think? Is it worth it? And consider Cathay Pacific only fly one time in a week with a 777. The other days they fly with a A330 and there is no first class on board. I'm pretty excited about it, about the product and about the service. I should fly Cathay on a long haul flight. Uh, this is just a short experience about my trip from Hong Kong to Seoul. 
I hope you liked it. I ho hope you enjoyed it. And please don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and visit Global Traveler TV for our German videos. See you next time, guys. Bye bye.